The Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge is a $2 million prize program offered by NASA's Centennial Challenges. To win the prize, privately funded teams of rocketeers and entrepreneurs have to build a vertical takeoff, vertical landing rocket capable of performing multiple flights in a very short period of time and following a specific mission trajectory. Uh, in level one of the prize program, teams have to do two flights in two and a half hours, and each flight has to have a duration of 90 seconds and a flight profile that rises up 50 meters, over 100 meters, and back down the 50 meters to land on a second flat pad, and then repeats that flight in reverse. To win the more complicated level two, teams again have to do those two flights in two and a half hours, but this time have to remain in the air for twice as long, and instead of landing on two flat surfaces, have to land on a simulated lunar surface. The Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge has been running for three years now. In 2008, we had more teams registered to compete in the Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge than ever before. Nine different teams from all around the United States entered their new designs and their new vehicles, all trying to accomplish the same goal. This year, two teams made it to our final event, Armadillo Aerospace and True Zero. Although we only awarded one prize this year, it's important to recognize that all of our teams have accomplished truly impressive things. Let's take a quick look at their vehicles.